hello guys in this video you're gonna learn static routing let's build network topology i'm gonna drag and drop three routers three switches and six pieces let's connect this Connect the routers. Let's configure the PCs. So I'll open up the PC0, desktop, IP configuration, give IP before address. I'll give 10.10.1 subnet mask and the default gateway as 10.10.0. Close. Open PC1. Go to desktop, IP configurations give IP for address it's in the same LAN so I'll give 10.10.2 subnet mask default gateway is 10.10.0 close so go to PC2 desktop IP configuration give IP for address I'll give 20.20.20.1 it's in a different LAN 20.20.20.0 close this open up the PC3 desktop IP configuration let's give IP for address 20 dot 20 dot 20 dot 2 subnet mask and default gateway as 20 dot 20 dot 20 dot 0 close this open the pc4 desktop ip configuration give ip for address as 30 dot 30 dot 30 dot 1 subnet mask and default gateway as 30 dot 30 dot 0 close this open the pc5 desktop ip configuration Give IP for address as 30.30.2 subnet mask default gateway as 30.30.0. Close this. After configuring PC, let's configure the router. So open up the router 0. Under config tab, go to fast ethernet 0 slash 0. So this LAN is connected to the router through FA0 that is fast ethernet 0 slash 0. Click on the port status on. Give IPv4 address as this gateway address that is 10.10.10.0 subnet mask. Also, this router 0 is connected to router 1 through serial 2 slash 0. So go to serial 2 slash 0, click on port status on, give IPv4 address as 40.40.40.1 subnet mask. Close this. Open router 1, go to config tab, go to fast ethernet 0 slash 0. Click on port status on, give IP for address as 20.20.20.0, that is default gateway, give subnet mask. And this router 1 is connected to router 0 through serial 2 slash 0. So go to serial 2 slash 0, click on port status on, give IP for address as 40.40.2, subnet mask. Router 1 is connected to router 2 through serial 3 slash 0. So go to serial 3 slash 0, click on port status on, give IP for address as 50.50.1, subnet mask, close this, open router 2, config tab. Now this LAN is connected to router through fast ethernet 0 slash 0. So go to FA 0 slash 0, click on port status on, give IP for address as default gateway that is 30.30.0 subnet mask and router 2 is connected to router 1 through serial 2 slash 0 so open this serial 2 slash 0 click on port status on give ip for address as 50.50.50.2 give subnet mask close after configuring router let's configure static in all three routers let's open router 0 go to config tab under routing section go to static so we need to give the network mask and the next hop. Let's give the network address of these two LANs where it starts from 20 series and this LAN starts from 30 series. So give 20 series for this LAN and the subnet mask is 255.00. For the next hop where it can access through is 40.40.40.2. .40 Add this. So remove all this. 
for accessing the third LAN that is 30 series through the IP address of router 40.40.40.2 so give network address as 30 series and their subnet mask is 255.0.0 and the next stop is 40.40.40.2 where it can access 30 series through, the, through this IP address give 40.40.40.2 add close this so open the router 1 under config tab go to static routing for accessing this LAN 1 of the IP address 10 series so give the network 10.0.0.0 and the subnet mask is 255.0.0.0 next hop to access this LAN is that is 40.40.40.1 add this and to access the LAN 3 that is 30 series give the address as 30.0.0.0 and leave the subnet mask as it is and change the next star to 50.50.2 add this close this open the router 2 under routing section go to static for accessing the first LAN that is 10 series add the network as 10 series 10.10.10.0 and the subnet mask is 255.0.0 and the next hop is that is 50.50.1 add and to access this second LAN that is 20 series change this 10 series to 20 series and leave the subnet mask as it is next stop will be the same add close this let's send the packets from PC0 to PC1 successful from PC2 to PC3 is also successful from PC4 to PC5 is also successful let's send the packets to the different network from PC1 to PC3 for the first time it will failed do it again from pc1 to pc3 successful now let's send from pc0 to pc2 for the first time it also fails let's send it again from pc0 to pc2 successful from pc4 to pc3 with successful thank you for watching guys